everyone and welcome back to another speed build. It's been a while so it's nice to be back doing another one of these builds for you guys. Uh, so today I decided to um, do a build that was inspired by a show I've been watching recently and I think most of you know what Outlander is. Um, really great story, really great show and I was kind of inspired to build one of the houses on there that I saw, so that's where this idea came from. Um, so basically, I decided to build um, the very first cabin that uh, Claire and Jamie moved into on uh, Fraser's Ridge. So it was that really small starter cabin that they kind of started out in. And I just thought it was just so cute when I first saw the shots of the uh, the cabin on the uh, show and I was like, oh man, I gotta build that. So um, that's what I ended up doing in this uh, speed build. Um, yeah, so it was an interesting build to do. It took me a little bit longer than anticipated uh, just because I was kind of, you know, struggling with... Um, building the roof portion of it, so like the front part where that overhang is, um, I had a lot of trouble <laughs> figuring out how to angle it um, so it looked correctly because I wanted everything to look as close as possible to the real house in the show as best as I could. Obviously I'm limited because it's The Sims and not everything is like the exact same when it comes to like objects and colors and things like that. So. You obviously have to compromise with certain things but um yeah so i you know struggled with that roof portion i really had to play around with a lot of different types of roofing to really figure out what um, would work the best and then i finally was able to kind of get it to work the the best way i could anyways so um so yeah that was the roof portion and then uh, the windows were pretty tricky too. I ended up having to use custom content windows just because all the windows that I was looking at in The Sims, um, just the regular content just didn't fit with the aesthetic that I wanted for like how I wanted the cabin to look. So I ended up going with custom content windows by um, Peacemaker. He's got some really great stuff so you should check him out but um, I used some of his windows and also I used some doors. But other than that, the rest of the uh, build is, um, there's no other custom content. That's the only CC that I used, so, um, the siding, I tried to get it as close as possible, but the siding's kind of, it's a little bit lighter, um, than I wanted it to be, and I wanted to make sure that it was, like, that horizontal kind of, um, siding that, uh, that's, like, in the regular build, um, like, but there's a lot of like, um, a lot of the siding is very like vertical <laughs> in The Sims, like the wood siding, it's like up and down instead of horizontals. So, and they didn't have the right colors. So I just kind of settled on that one, but um, yeah. And then the house itself, like the, the cabin in the show, it doesn't have a lot of landscaping, but I decided to add some in anyways, just to kind of beautify the, uh, the land a bit. Cause it was, you know, I think, without any landscaping it looks pretty sparse but obviously for the show like it's you know they, they've just built it and stuff like that there's no landscaping I don't think they did much landscaping back in the 1700s anyways so unless you were like super rich <laughs> but anyways that's another matter but um yeah so I put a lot of landscaping and a lot of greenery to really brighten it up and then I you know I went ahead and you know put like um some gardening in there because um, I know that Claire has like a, an outside garden that's kind of like fenced off so I tried to recreate that and then I put like a little um, shed in the back and um, there's obviously like an outhouse because the sims they need to have a toilet so <laughs> um, I put a toilet out there with a sink and a, in a, like a little separate outhouse at the back. Now this cabin it's kind of like I tried to make it as functional as possible, obviously within sticking with the parameters of the cabin from the show. Um, so obviously there's no electricity, so I relied with the lighting, obviously all candle 
lighting <laughs> so it's pretty uh it's pretty dim in the in the cabin so um it's a little bit darker than usual <laughs> um and then yeah like i i put a fridge in there um it's kind of like this really dark kind of cabinetry looking fridge it's really vintage looking so it kind of just looks like another cabinet that's in um in the cabin itself but it's actually a fridge so at least the sims can like eat food <laughs> obviously um there's no cooking any food so i guess if you're gonna download this build you'll probably have to put a barbecue in or something or you know add something in there to be able to cook stuff but other than that they ha they have the basic necessities to live at least <laughs> so that's where the functionality is i guess but um there's certain things that aren't functional like for example the bed just because it is shoved up against the wall so i guess like i don't know if you're going to really play with the cabin you probably don't want to move that bed but yeah it's that that was the thing that i found that was really the hardest was trying to make this build like functional but also look similar to the one in the show so that was interesting to do interesting to tackle i guess so yeah um what else about this build oh yeah well i made i made the characters as well as sims that was fun i um i'm not very good at making sims so i tried to make them look as close as possible to the characters but it's really tough like just because like the actors themselves they have such unique faces that they're really hard to recreate in the sims without using custom content so i didn't use any cc for the sims so i had to just you know make it the best i could um jamie's really like because <laughs> he's got such a sharp face so he ended up looking more like lord john instead of <laughs> jamie which is kind of funny except he has red hair, so that was interesting. And, and I think Claire turned out quite nicely. The face is similar, it's not the same, but it's similar. So I think she turned out nicely and she's got really curly hair and stuff like that. So yeah, that was that was fun. And hmm, I don't know what else to really say about the build. So yeah, I'm gonna probably um, sign off of here and stuff and you guys can listen to the rest of the music and enjoy the rest of the speed build and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye-bye!